Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. I've got something interesting for you today. We're gonna be shooting Hornady Custom Light, the 125 grain SST load in 308 Winchester. And here's the box for that Hornady Custom Light, 125 grain SST 308 Winchester load. I personally have been very curious to try this stuff out for a long time. Here is your promo information. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. Basically, it's talking about the ammo is for people who are recoil sensitive, want something that doesn't kick quite as much. Let's flip it around. Velocity wise, they're stating 2,675 feet per second at the muzzle. It'll be interesting to see what we get out of the 22 inch barrel of my Ruger American, but that is a nice light velocity for a 125 grain bullet out of a 308 Winchester. So these things really shouldn't kick very much at all. I'll try and remember to talk about that, you know, how much recoil I feel from these things. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Ammo comes in your black plastic holder. Let's whip one out. And there it is, your classic red-tipped SST bullet. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Standard, chambered in 308 Winchester, of course. It has a 22-inch barrel. I did have it threaded so I could use a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 suppressor. And coming on back, I've got it topped off with a Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Definitely helps see the gel blocks down there. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on the buttstock. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings on there. Those are also available on my website. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my whitetail deer design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are those velocities for the Hornady Custom Light 125 grain SST load out of the 308. We had a minimum of 2468, a maximum of 2488 for an average of 2478. So this stuff is going pretty slow. We'll get into velocity more in just a second. And we are down at the blocks after shooting that Hornady Managed Recoil 125 grain SST load out of the 308 Winchester. And y'all, I wish I had better news to report, but I'm kind of disappointed in the performance of this load. Let's go ahead and go over it. First of all, penetration wise, here is what's left of one of the jackets here at about the 19 inch mark. Coming on back, way down there is the most intact of the three bullets that I captured. It's at about the 20, well, we'll give it 23 and a half inches actually. And then the third bullet is way back here. Let me see if I can come around and show you. Way back here at about, what is that? 40 and a half inches and it looks like it barely expanded at all it looks like it kind of broke up in the front didn't really expand out and just kept on going not what you want to see from an sst bullet that's for sure and so coming on back to the first block we had a lot of fragmentation there's chunks of bullet all through here and surprisingly light and not very impressive wound cavity. You can see the bullets come in and sort of pencil in and they don't start to expand until about the three inch mark. The wound cavities are very minimal, only between about the three inch and really by six inches, they're kind of tapered off and then the chunks of bullet keep on going. And there's a bunch of little chunks of bullet in here from the one that basically totally broke up. Again, that one looks like it held together for the most part. We'll see when we weigh it here in a second. And the one that's way back down here at 40 and a half inches, it's hard to tell, but it looks like it didn't really expand or do much of anything. We'll look at it when we dig it out here in a second, but all in all, pretty unimpressive performance. I really wanted this load to do better than this. <sighs> Y'all, every once in a while it happens. Every once in a while, 
you get a total and complete failure. And for 308 Winchester so far on the channel of the loads I've tested, this is that load. Hornady Custom Light 125 grain SST failure. All right, crap. The performance of this stuff is ghastly. So let's go ahead and hit all the metrics. Then we'll talk about it more in my final thoughts. Weight retention, 66 grains, 98 grains, and 119 grains. For an average of 94 grains weight retention, that's 53% overall. Now, it's an SST bullet, right? You expect it to break up some. The problem is we have a very wide range here. The one bullet on the right in the photo didn't barely break up at all. In fact, it didn't even really expand. It looks like the tip broke off and ripped a piece of the jacket off. Then we've got the bullet in the middle that did pretty much exactly what I would expect this bullet to do out of this load, which is expand decently, shed some weight, but hold together at the base. And then we have the bullet on the left, which almost completely broke up. There's still a chunk left there, but it's very different than the other two bullets, just like the one on the right. And I guess honestly the one in the middle being that we have three. They're all very different, which is the problem. Moving on to expansion, 0 0.48, 0 0.55, and 0.66 inches for an average of 0.56 inches expanded diameter. And expanded diameter is a little bit of a misnomer. Again, the one on the right didn't really expand at all, which works out on average to 1.8x expansion. It is what it is. We had two bullets do kind of what SST bullets, the left bullet and the middle bullet, then the one on the right just throws it completely off. And now on to velocity, and that's where this load just really kicks the bucket. That's where the porta potty gets tipped over. It's where the steak gets burned on the grill. I mean, you get the point. So high velocity was 2489, low was 2468, very tight spread, 21 foot per second spread. It's about the only good thing going on here. For an average of 2478, now that's versus a build velocity of 2675, okay? So we're coming in 197 feet per second slow. Crazy, that is horrible. It is by far the slowest versus factory spec of any of the 308 loads I've tested, and I've done a good little pile of them. And I know this is a managed recoil, light recoil load, which it definitely was, because we're coming in nearly 200 feet per second slower than factory spec. So it's definitely managed recoil, but it's also definitely going a lot slower than it's supposed to. And so real quick, we'll also hit on impact velocity. So how fast were these bullets going when they impacted the target down there at 100 yards? And this is an estimate, it's based off a calculation, but I use factory provided inputs, so it should be very close. And so based on that, the impact velocity of these 125 grain SSTs down at 100 yards should be around 2,305 feet per second. Just something to know. And now on to penetration. We saw 19 inches, 23 and a half inches, and 40 and a half inches. So a completely ridiculous range of penetration, nowhere near consistent, for an average of 28 inches of penetration. Now keep in mind, we had one bullet that did pretty much what we would expect it to, one that did a little bit too much, it shed more weight than I think it should, and one that didn't expand or really shed much weight at all. So even though the average penetration depth was 28 inches, which is generally considered excellent, combined with everything else about these bullets, I, I can't say that this is necessarily a good thing. And let's hit kinetic energy real quick with a 125 grain bullet going on average 2,478 feet per second. We're looking at 1,704 foot pounds at the muzzle. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on that Hornady Custom Light 125 grain SST load out of the 308 Winchester. Y'all, this stuff was an abject failure. Will it kill a deer? Yeah, absolutely. If you shoot a deer in the vitals with any you know decent rifle, it's gonna kill it. But this stuff didn't do what it's supposed to. It was extremely slow versus factory spec, much slower than any other 308 ammo I've tested. I don't know what that's about. The bullets all did different things. We've got a 53 grain difference between the lightest bullet and the heaviest bullet as recovered. We've got one bullet that didn't do hardly anything at all but kind of bend sideways and rip jacket off. Absolutely horrendous, 
horrible performance. So at the end of the day, what would I use this ammo for? Absolutely nothing. I mean, I can't, with, with these results that we got, I can't trust this stuff. The velocity factor alone with how much underloaded it is, it doesn't give you a lot of confidence. And that's all I have to say about that. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.